everyone, so today instead of doing college, I'm going to be doing high school. And you may ask, why? Well, um, I graduated high school and I thought it would be cool to help all of you incoming high schoolers or current high schoolers or seniors um, with your high school experience since I have been through it all. Okay, so as you see right here, I made a list. And it is a very long list, so I'm going to try and get through it very, fairly quickly. Um, and not make this video deathly long and boring. So I'm just going to start right away. My biggest pet peeve in high school, and I'm sure it's other people's too, is learn how to walk in the hallways. And if you're already in high school, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're a freshman, I will fill you in. So basically, don't stop in the middle of the hallways. Don't stop to talk to your friends, don't stop, just, don't stop to talk to a teacher, don't stop just to stop. Walk on the right side of the hallway, as in, you know, the right side, actually that's my right, your right would be over here. Walk on the right side of the hallway, do not walk through the middle, um, don't walk slow, just like walk fast. You have an allotted time to get to your classroom, mine would be five minutes, and if you have to get from one side of school to the other side of the school in five minutes and people are walking, at a snail's pace with their swag on and their pants down to their knees, you get frustrated, so just walk. Something that kind of goes along with that would be planning out your route um, to your classes. So if you're a freshman, or even sophomore, junior, senior, um, maybe not so much seniors, go to the school before school starts. And I'm sure you have to go to the pick stuff up anyway. So go to the school before school starts. Um, take your schedule with you and just walk class to class to class, find your locker, um, practice your combination on your locker if you have locks on there. Know when you can stop at your locker, get your stuff. And kind of to help with that is my next tip is color coordinate all of your subject binders, books, notebooks, journals, all that stuff. So if math is red, have all your red stuff and say your next class is red, math. So you go to your locker, you take all your red stuff, and you put it in your book bag, or you carry it, or whatever you do, and you go to your classroom, and it makes it so much easier than having to, like, search through all your stuff in your locker and be like, oh my god, I can't find my book. Um, it just helps with your life, and it makes it easier. If you're in class, and you have gum, do not take that gum out and be like, oh, hey, I have gum, I'm going to put some in my mouth. You don't want to do that, because... Everyone is going to be like, oh my god, that's gum. Can I have a piece of gum? And you're going to be like, um, sure. And then you're going to give that one person a piece of gum. And then the person next to them is going to be like, hey, would you get that gum? And then you're going to be like, this kid over here. And they're going to be like, hey, kid over there, can I have a piece of gum? And you're going to be like, um, sure. And then by the end of the day, you are not going to have any gum left. So if you're going to eat gum, if you're allowed to chew gum, um, do it quietly, secretly, kind of sneakily take it out of your purse, unwrap it, and put it in your mouth, and then chew away. And if people say, where'd you get that gum, and be like, it was my last piece, they may know you're lying, but they won't ask you again. Join clubs. Join clubs. Um, join sports. Join marching band. I'm just going to be a big advocate of marching band right now, because I was in marching band all four years, and it's seriously the greatest group of people I've ever met in my entire life and it's you just have such great experiences with everyone and you're all working together and it is just so much fun I just loved marching band so much and at least for my school my marching band my band camp is a month before school starts so you instantly have 250 friends right there at least for my band it was 250 people so you had all those friends right there you had upperclassmen you had freshmen you had your section, so you become close with them, and then you have other people in other sections, and then you have... Oh, it was just so much fun. Join marching band. And if you don't like band, you don't play an instrument, that's okay. Join a sport, join a key club, join French club, join a language. Join clubs, go to the meetings, meet people, meet upperclassmen. Especially meeting upperclassmen. Um, they will help you throughout high school. Seniors really aren't that scary. They're not going to bug you. You may hear, oh, haha, freshman in the first couple weeks of school. And then people get used to it. Um, just don't mess with them. Like, don't try and be all tough. I know most of the people probably watching these videos aren't going to mess with those seniors. Yes, talk to them, be nice to them, but they're seniors. If you try to overstep their seniority in some way, shape, or form, they're going to get a little ticked off. 
because they're at the top and they know it and they want to stay that way. They don't want some little freshman messing with them or trying to be better than them. Um, that's my advice about that. Take so many pictures, freshman year, sophomore year. Like, all my pictures are from junior and senior year. So when it came to my graduation and my grad party, I didn't have a lot of pictures to put up on my board that were from my younger years of high school. So even if they're embarrassing or you don't like them, save them. And if you don't want them on Facebook, save them in a folder and put them on your computer and just leave them there. Because you're going to want to look back and you're going to want to see what you were like as a freshman when you're a senior, believe me. This one's kind of a big one, kind of deep. Do what you want, okay? Like, be who you are. Like, I'm not saying do what you want, go spray paint on a building or something. I'm saying do what you want, like, dress how you want to look, um, act how you want to, that within, um, reasonable things. Don't go jump off a cliff into water because it's fun. No. Um, like, dress how you want to dress. Like, I was so worried my freshman and sophomore year about what people thought of me that I didn't really dress how I wanted to, I didn't really do what I wanted to, and then finally senior year, it took me four years, senior year, I'm like, you know what, why do I care? Why do I care what other people think of me? You know, like, I always try to keep my YouTube channel a secret, I've been doing this since, like, freshman or sophomore year, and I'm like, why do I care if people know I make videos, or people care, like, that I have Tumblr and I blog, and why do I care? Like. So I finally realized I, I don't care. So it just takes so much weight off your shoulders if you don't care what people think of you. Finding dates to dances really isn't, or like homecoming, really isn't a big deal. Okay, so it's homecoming, right? Um, a lot of people go solo. Like, you go with a group of friends. Some people may have dates, some people don't. Um, I only had a date to one of my homecomings. Um, all other four years I went with my group of friends. Because I was quiet in school, I didn't really talk to anybody. So, and another thing, a boyfriend is really not a big deal in high school. Like, everyone has one, but if you don't have one, it's fine. Don't get worked up about it, don't let boys get in the way. Um, because they're high school boys, they're immature, so. Okay. A big one that I really want to get in here is avoid procrastination and study. Okay, I know everybody has probably told you this, but coming from someone who didn't study once during high school, like I did not study. I did not sit down with my books and study. Um, I sat on the computer, I did my homework at 9 o'clock at night, and I turned it in the next day. I was probably a, a B student, I'd say. I got a few C's, but not so much. Um, I know that if I would have studied, like legitimately studied, not the two periods before you have the test study, like study, um, I would have gotten better grades in high school. Like I would have gotten probably mainly straight A's. I cannot stress more than I already am. Just study. I know it's time consuming. You want to go out with your friends, but studying is really going to help you so much. And don't procrastinate, don't do the project the night before because then you cannot put your entire effort into that project. That is probably the biggest thing I can possibly tell you and I know you're probably thinking, come on study is where you're all studying and you'll end up not studying like me. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope that it helped you and if you have any questions at all about high school just comment below I will answer them as soon as I can I check this channel every day and I will see you next time I make a video bye Woke up on the right side.